Yeah, I would just suggest the IT fundamentals. That's what you should learn. All right, so if you're an individual who wants to get started in the IT or cybersecurity industry, and you're wondering where should I start or what should I learn before, in today's video topic, I will be addressing my personal opinion on what you should learn, why you should learn what you should learn, and where you should learn. <laughs> All right, so by now you should know it's the IT fundamentals. That's what I think you should learn. You can go ahead and click off this video, but if you want a little bit more detail, you can continue on. What exactly are the IT fundamentals? Well, in my opinion, they outline a few different surrounding categories, including hardware, which are the physical parts of a computer and computing devices. You have the software, which is a suite of tools and data, which you know tell the computer how to work, including operating systems, software applications, and more. So think about like a Windows 10 or Linux. Then you have networking, which is the exchange and transportation of data between computing devices. So just understanding how that works. Applications, which is computer software or programs used to carry out specific tasks, you know, such as word processing or editing or email clients. And then you have the security basics, my favorite, right? Uh, understanding the added elements on top of the listed uh, elements or categories that I just outlined. Now, I personally believe if you started from the very beginning, you're gonna set yourself up for better success, and I'll tell you that reason in a moment. Now, while learning the IT fundamentals, it's important to keep in mind some essential concepts and skills required within the IT industry. And this includes skills such as configuring and troubleshooting. Just like anything that you learn in school, you gotta first understand the basics. Of course, you could just throw yourself deep into the woods and have no idea what's going on, and maybe, yes, you could complete the problem. But let's just say you want to complete some complex math equation. Well, you have to know the basics of the symbols. Subtraction, addition, such as this nice complex math equation. Uh, I think you... I don't know how to do this. You know, those. Or if you want to get a little spicy, and you want to mix some elements together, you got to know the periodic table, I think. I don't really know. I'm not a chemistry major. Well, the same goes for IT, in my opinion. You get the point. Now, sure, you could provision a Kali Linux VM, and you could use John Ripper and start cracking those Facebook passwords. Don't actually do that. Or, you know, you can throw yourself deep into the woods of a project, and sometimes that method works. But the question becomes, if you have no technological or any IT skills background, how do you know, you know what to secure in the context of cybersecurity if you don't even know how the technology, tool, principle, concept works, right? If you can't understand what a layer two switch does from you know, a high-level overview, how do you know you're gonna need to apply port security you know, in the context of a layer two switch? Well, you won't know because you don't know how a layer two switch works in a high level. And that's why I suggest the IT fundamentals. It's a great way to get the basics down. You can build those foundational skills, and then you can throw yourself into the woods of, you know, Kali Linux if you want to. There are hundreds of resources out there, both free and affordable. All right, one moment of self promo. You can skip to this timestamp if you don't care about this, but there are free courses I have out there. One is on Udemy. It's a complete introduction to cybersecurity, right? So this is gonna be a very high level overview of cybersecurity and IT, and we address some of the very basics, such as hardware and networking devices. So why not just give away the course for free? If you're watching this in the next three days of this upload, you can go sign up for it uh, for free. But I do also have another course. It's more of a very much a practical hands-on course that I had released last year, and I added some few updates to it. This is a great course to get started, and now enough for the self promo. All right, so some platforms include Free Code Camp. They have plenty of crash courses out there. Udemy has plenty of basic IT courses. You have plenty of YouTube crash courses. I'll leave uh, some that I think are noteworthy, including ones that are released from Google itself, which is a great way to start. Uh, Humble Bundle, which is a book provider in the form of eBooks that you can see and find if there are any bundles out there. One more thing to note, and that is, theory is a great place to start. With my beginner's course, it's a lot of theory, not so much practical or hands-on. You gotta get started with understanding the concepts. But, one thing to note is to have a hands-on practical approach once you've maybe started some of those basics. 
I have a resources page with a complete list of projects that you can just check out. It's all free, you don't have to worry about paying. Uh, and you can just look at the different resources, project ideas, and how to go about solving those projects on that website. This video has been short. I hope it's been useful and helpful. I did this video a few years ago and I thought I would go ahead and provide an update for 2021. So I hope everything is well and until the next video, have a good day.